Hey, my name is Charlie Edelman. I am an artist. I've traveled around the world painting in different places, and I never dreamed of putting together a book. But I've had COVID several times, and I started the book. It took me three years to complete it, and it's called Crashing Waves of Passions. And if you think about the Moulin Rouge, 1888 in Paris, it involves an artist called Susan Valadon, another one, Toulouse Lautrec, and another one was named Vincent Van Gogh. And so maybe you've heard of all three of them. But if not, the book's going to be out on like 40 platforms in June. And so I work like crazy on these. And I wanted just to talk about it briefly now because I'm getting the word out there. I've written to some museums, and one of the goals of mine is to have this in the Van Gogh Museum, Toulouse Lautrec Museum, and I want to find out about Susan Balladon, where the biggest collection of her work is. So here's the book. I'm incredibly proud of it. And the gal who's in the project manager at the publishing company, she told me that she thought the book's a masterpiece. And so I can't believe I did it. I've been through a lot in the last three or four years. And I have allergies now. So let me tell you just quickly what this is about on the cover. If you know about Van Gogh, he was probably a pretty hard person to get along with, okay? And he proposed to his cousin, he put his hand over the flame, said, I'm not going to leave until you say you'll marry me. Well, they basically slammed the door. <laughs> and so he had a woman that was a prostitute that lived with him. I think she brought in her son. His name, her name was Cien, and she disappeared after about maybe was it two months. So whoever he liked didn't want to marry him, basically. And I can tell you why, maybe, but you probably know or you'll figure it out, too. So anyway, in my book, I made Vincent very happy. This is his wife. And she's a country woman from France, but she lived in Paris, too. And her name is Odette. And she's very smart. She loves to go to museums. And she also plays the accordion which is one thing that Van Gogh loved about her. And this is all made up, but he would paint, and they would go for these long walks, and she would play accordion. So they have a dog, they have an easel, and they have a nice farmhouse. And this is the life that he dreamed of. At least that's my dream for what he wanted, okay? And so this is, these are the illustrations from the book. I wanted you to feel that you know these people. And they all, when they were younger, had tragedies in their life. And Van Gogh had one. But here, I wanted you to have the feeling that you're outside painting with him. So I presented the easel, okay? Showed you what he's painting, showed you the house, showed you the landscapes. And these were all from my memories of his art. And I just let myself go. I didn't do sketches for these. Sometimes I might come back and work on them four months later. But everyone in the book, all 53, 54 of them, I'm extremely proud of. And I don't want to sell them individually. I've had offers, but I want to sell them as a whole unit. And meanwhile, I want to have some shows and galleries and museums. And so I've never seen anything like this. Maybe you have, but you can write to me on my website. And I'll give you the information and let me, and let me know. But I like the little bunny back there. I used to paint at the ocean and the seagulls love me. <laughs> so I have to I have to include something here. Excuse me because I do have allergies. This is Toulouse Lautrec when he was young. If you know about Toulouse Lautrec, he was from a wealthy family and essentially he fell off his horse when he was maybe 13 years old, two times within a year. And guess what? His legs stopped growing. And there was also something going on maybe with cousins marrying cousins. So I've shown you this, and I've read a ton on all these artists I'm talking about. He had a pet cormorant that he liked to take for walks. And there's the cormorant. He loved animals, pet monkey, buildings in the background. He loved to get dressed up, and he got that from his father who was apparently pretty eccentric and loved to dress in night, as a knight in shining armor in a variety of co 
of different costumes. Well, they weren't costumes, but different clothes from different periods. So here he is in here, and here he is before his accident where he's playing a game called tag. <laughs> and he's about 12 years old, and he's outside in the pond. And I like all these little turtles. And he was always fascinated with animals. So in my book, I included him when he was older, where they all went to the zoo, OK? And I think he did go to the zoo in London. And I like a variety between color, black and white, and the text are arranged to go along with the, uh, with the artwork. So there's a particular order, but it's not 43 pages of text. I wanted to break it up. And then I put them in the future. There's several passages where they're time travelers. So this is Susan Valadon. So they go in 2022, 23 to the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And one of the reasons that I put them there was without these artists, who knows what, I, what would have happened in history, in the history of art. And you know what that I love about this? Get so many good ideas doing this stuff. And I'm not a writer, okay? But I love, I would write seven hours a day and then rewrite it and then rewrite it. But I love the fact that they love the artwork that they saw. And this was 130 years after, you know, from 1888 to whenever. And I'm not good at math right now due to COVID. But here she is, and she's admiring the work. And here is Susan Rothenberg dancing with Mondrian. And that's what Van Gogh is looking at. There's a painting by Francis Bacon. There's Calder. Susan Rothenberg, and one of my favorite artists, Germaine Richier. And I thought that he would re maybe relate, she would relate to Van Gogh because there was something intensely vital about her work. And Toulouse Lautrec, here he is at, at MoMA and all dressed up. And so you'll see s some other pictures that I am incredibly proud of. And I don't mean to be yelling at you, but I wanted to, to get, I get excited. And I get excited when I paint. And that's why I wake up a lot of times, 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I'm ready to roll. And then in the book, I have, this is for adults. I've talked to several people who like to buy these books of Van Gogh's Starry Night or Monet's Water Lilies or whatever it is. Well, I made my own designs for adults that they can finish, okay? And so this is, as you can see, Susan. She's looking behind her easel right here. And then I gave you suggestions if you don't know what to do with this. I want you to have some fun. I want you to get in the mindset of these people, okay? I want you to actually feel like you're in the studio with her. And if you look here, finish with brilliant color clashes. What's a clash of color? Here, shoot this if you want, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, orange, yellow, and blue, okay? I don't want to see anything so subtle, all right? But I like subtlety, but there are five of these for you to complete. And you know what? Tear them out of the book, print them up, whatever you want to do. And I'd love for you to finish them and then email them to me on my website because I'd like to be able to post them all, whatever people, whatever people do. And you know what? Main, what's the main thing? You got trees out in the background. You've got windows here. I gave you suggestions. You finish it however you want, okay? And don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings. Okay, I've been through a lot. <laughs> and so, thank you so much. I have one more thing to say. So I just picked out four or five drawings from there. And hold on one second, let me, let me put this out for a minute. Boom. Boom. When you look at them from a distance, and you know, I've had offers to sell these and I don't want to sell them individually. It's gotta, it's gotta, be, a, it's gotta be as a group. That and that, but can you imagine 54 of these? And when I wrote the text, the text is insight from the mind of the artist, what they were thinking about, what their life was like, okay? And so that's my, that's my introduction. And so this is my website because I need to start selling a lot more. I used to sell a lot of work. www.acryliccharliepaints.com and people will ask, well, are you made out of acrylic? And I'll say, yeah. And they'll say, well, what part? You know, let me fill you. You, you, 
crow? And I said, no, the crow looks in here. Okay. And then the name of the book should be out in June, Crashing Waves of Passions. And the thing that's beautiful is some of these people didn't have a lot of friends. Like Vincent, for one, and Susan Veladon was an incredible model. But I think Toulouse Lautrec had a close group, and I think to, I think Susan Valadon probably knew the most people. And so you can read up on her. But anyway, please get the book. It's cheap, and you'll love it, and I worked hard on the book, okay? And so that's all that I have to say, and I want to thank my friend Mark, this wonderful friend who is becoming an incredible filmmaker.